Hi everybody, we're back in the uh, PGSA lab again, and uh, today we're going to look at the MBX Pre. It's a pretty versatile uh, streamer, and uh, what we're showing you here visually is that uh, in its basic form, the output is connected directly into an amplifier. The, the signal from the Pre is then amplified to the speakers, and uh, very simply, you've got a, a streaming audio system. All right, let's take a tour through the rear of the MBX Pre. You see that we're connected to our local area network. Adjacent to that is a USB port. So we can plug a USB thumb drive that contains music files directly in and then access those files through the My Rust Sound app or through the XTS Plus touchscreen. There's a trigger out so that we can actually cause a device to turn on or off. There's two uh, inputs. There's an analog input and a digital input. These can both be accessed at the same time and it allows me to connect additional sources in that are accessed through my Rust Sound app or touchscreen. You can see that we have a RCA left and right uh, line output and we're taking that directly into this amplifier. In our configuration that we're looking at right now, uh, the MBX Pre Streamer is set in zone mode. We can select one of two options, either zone mode or source mode. In zone mode, the output is connected directly into an amplifier. In this case, it's a, it's a Rust Sound D250 amplifier. The other option is in source mode, and source mode is designed for the MBX Pre to be connected in as a source to an MCA-66 or an MCA-88 controller. We talked about uh, zone mode and source mode, but just some additional information. The default out of the box is that the MBX Pre is set to zone mode. The configuration that we set up here is automatic. It will just happen because we've taken an output and we've connected it into an amplifier. However, if we're going to set this up with an MC-66, or MCA-88, then the, uh, we have to change the internal configuration of this from zone mode to source mode. So we would uh, choose the source that we're going to be connecting it to on the MCA-66 or 88, and then we would uh, connect our RCA cable directly to that uh, source number. Internally, on the MCA-66 or 88, we would then configure the source input as being a Rust Sound Media Streamer. Once you do that, everything is going to run smoothly. To the right of the line, line output is a factory reset. It has three settings. A momentary press will actually uh, just reboot the controller, the MBX Pre. A three second press will change from a static IP address back to dynamic or DHCP. And a 10 second press will lock the unit down so that you would have to go through a complete unlock procedure to restore it back to operation. Just wanna add some uh, information regarding Rust Sound speakers. You see that we have our uh, Outback speakers set up for uh, desktop or bookshelf uh, mounting. Uh, what you should remember is that when you use Rust Sound speakers with Rust Sound controllers such as the MBX Pre, MBX Amp, MCA88, that you actually extend the warranty of the electronics from two years to four years. So a great reason to use Rust Sound speakers on every one of your projects.